record. All right, guys, we are recording. It is, what is today? It is September 7th. I had to look. I didn't even know. Happy Labor Day to everybody, um, whether you're here live or watching this on the replay. Thanks for being here. I know sometimes when there's a holiday, it's hard to get on the Zooms, but I think this is probably one of the easiest because the holiday is coming to an end tonight. And we're all going back to normal tomorrow. Um, if you missed the power planning Zoom last night, it's on the YouTube. I always put the Zooms up on the YouTube. So even if I don't remember to share the YouTube link, just know you can go to my YouTube and they'll be on there. Um, and for any of you that have not been on the YouTube, there's so there's every team Zoom, there's every power planning, there's every, there's so much stuff. So there's a ton of stuff there for you if you're new. Um, but tonight, I said in the in the title of our meeting tonight that I wanted to talk about being intentional with our intentional with our time, because this promo is creating a ton of momentum, and I think this is a perfect time to talk about being intentional with your time. Because when something like this is happening, and the wheels are turning, and the phone is beeping, and the messages are coming in, and you're trying to be creative, it's really hard to stay focused on your actual plan, like your intentional plan, because there's so much exciting stuff coming at you. So I get, I get how we get distracted, but I want to talk about um, basically creating your ideal work week and how you can do it in a manner that gives you some flexibility, but keeps you on task. So for those of you that are, haven't been on me, we're, we're still talking about stuff from the 12 week year. This is the workbook part that I've been working on and um, chapter six is intentionality. And so I just want to read a couple of things to you. I will be looking down and reading some. If you want to take notes, great. If not, you can watch the replay. You can, um, I think some of you, we talked about it last week, maybe, um, the 12 weekyearcom I think that's how it was or something like that. Just Google it. Um, they have a bunch of free resources. So if you don't have the book and you don't have the workbook, that's cool. There's a lot of stuff that's out there that you can still tap into for free. Um, so basically what we're gonna talk about is time. And it says right here, given the value and limited supply. And that's, that's it right there, you guys. Time is literally the most valuable thing you have and the most limited thing you have. None of us have any idea how much time we have, like legitimately, not a clue. Um, so with the, given the value and limited supply, it's interesting that almost all of us have difficulty spending our time as effectively as we would like to. Um, I will be the first to tell you, I try so hard with my time management and I have some things I do well, but there are so many more things that I could be doing better. And I, and I say this to my clients a lot and some of them are on here so they'll know when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Like, I don't care how many times somebody has probably tried to tell me some of this stuff. I just wasn't ready to hear it or I didn't hear it properly, or it didn't fit into my timeline at the time. And so I know we've talked a lot about, um, what do they call that, time blocks. This is a completely different time blocking method. So it's either going to resonate with you or throw you completely off your, your, you know, your track that you're on. So just please know when I offer this stuff to you, it's just as I'm learning, I'm sharing it with you. It's baby steps. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about my, my personal baby steps as we go through, but there are some beliefs, um, kind of like a limiting belief or a constrictive belief, like things that we think that we think, you know, like, like there's the one where like, you think I can get it all done. Like there's a, a fact, let me see, I can find the fact really quick. Um, the average professional American has more than 40 hours of unfinished work on their desk. You literally can't get it all done. So if you go into your every day saying, I can get this all done, you're going to leave every day frustrated versus I'm going to get this done today, this tomorrow, this Wednesday. So again, it's just mentally constructing your time and setting yourself up for success. Um, many people value the time of others above their own. I know for a fact the faces I'm looking at have that problem, myself included. How many times today were you trying to work on something with the promo or do laundry or whatever you were trying to do and your phone dinged and you ran to it and you answered the question, you jumped into that chat, you, you offered whatever it was that they needed, right? I get being helpful and this is where I struggle. So this is like the hardest part for me. I get being helpful. Like that's what I want to do is be helpful. But I also know that to truly be helpful, I need to stick to my guns because take, for example, 
um, let's say a customer, let's say you're focused on something and a couple customers start asking you questions. And so you're trying to stay focused and you're trying to answer questions and you're trying to get back to focus and you're trying to answer questions. Okay, so you're truly not focused, right? There's no way you could be focused and do all that. And because you're popping in and answering questions really quickly, are you answering them correctly? Are you taking the time to really understand what's going on? I am so guilty of this. And you guys all know, because you've probably all been in chats with me before, where I answer something and I'm like, oh wait, that's not actually what you asked. <laughs> I'm like, hang on, here's what you wanted to know. Because I, I so quickly want to answer you and help you, but that's not really helpful. Whereas if I would just finish what I focused on and then check my phone, I could actually answer you correctly. So a lot of times we think we're trying to help people. We think we're helping our team. We think we're helping a customer when we actually could help them so much more if we would allocate the time to help them versus going in a bunch of different directions. Do you follow me? And you've all probably, have you all been there? I, Please say I'm not the only one that answers stuff wrong because I'm in a hurry. Um, okay, some of the other things that I, and this is one I struggle with big time. Like I was actually reading it and I didn't want to highlight it. And then I was like, self, you gotta go back and highlight it. So I highlighted it, but then I was like, I don't want to talk about it because I suck at this. So I'll just read what I highlighted. The thinking that says I will start building my ideal future tomorrow or next week or next month is flawed. The future you're going to live is the one you are creating right now at this very moment. People, I love planners. I love to-do lists. I love all that stuff. And sometimes I get a week or two in and then it sits. I mean, are you with me? Like, we're always like, we want to plan this. We want to plan our time. We want to plan this amazing, like, I've been planning for over five years getting to 200K. Clearly, my plan is off. Because why? Because I never truly sit down and actually get the plan. Because why? Because my phone dings and I answer questions. Are you with me? I'm just gonna make fun of myself this whole time we're on here. <laughs> and I'm not really making fun, I'm just being very honest. This is the stuff I struggle with and I think if I do, you might also. Um, <clears throat> so you have to remember, if you're not taking time to plan and you're just bing, 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 in, then you're letting someone else plan your future. And I am so guilty of that. Um, even though I think of myself as this boss babe, there are days where I am like boss secretary because I'm just answering questions for all the people and not moving myself forward. Um, it, so one of the quotes, if you are in control of your time, then you are in control of your results. So until you truly take control of your time, and like I said, I have planners, I have calendars. I've got three actual calendars that I use on a daily basis. Um, be right back. Oh, hey girl. Um, and just because I have those calendars and I'm writing things in it, I'm right. So like, for example, my calendar at fitness for you, I get in there and I write in when people are coming, not necessarily when I want them to come or when it would work best for me, but I'm, I'm being reactive. This person is at this time. And then I have my bin boss calendar. This person is on this day, but, but when do I put in my time? Right. Do you see where I'm going with this? So having the calendar is one thing, but having, actual controlled time is another. Um, so what we're going to talk about is basically doing like a model work week and I need to open up chat. I really want you guys to chat with me during this, all of it, obviously, but um, I swear the Zoom is not directed to me. <laughs> oh, Olivia. Um, so basically to create your model work week, the quote that I love is to get different results, you have to do different things differently. So you can't just do different things. You got to do them even differently than you've done them before. Um, and I think like, so a lot of times we want a breakthrough in our business, right? You want a breakthrough. How many people on here want a breakthrough? You're like, I'm ready for my breakthrough. I'm ready to like take this business to the next level. Okay. Are you doing something different than you did last week or last month or last year for some of us? Or are we still doing what we've been doing? Because if we, and I'm guilty, like I, I will say in, in my defense, <laughs> um, I did discover early on this year, and I think we talked about this openly, that that 54321, that, that planner for me was a complete crutch. Five reach outs a day does not create 200K. Oh, I should get a shirt, that's a poem. I should get a shirt that says that. Five reach outs a day. Dude. So I basically had to rip that up, that that was what, it worked for me in the beginning. So right, so when I had the calendar challenge back in the day, it worked for me. And then as my business progressed, I had to progress. 
But at some point I picked up on someone else's idea, which sometimes that's good because sometimes we need a jumping off point. But instead of me blindly saying, oh, hey, Maria created this piece of paper, so it must be magical. You guys all know Maria does a hell of a lot more than five reach out today. So why on earth, except to be lazy, was I accepting that this five, four, three, two, one was going to be magical? The magic comes from the consistency. The breakthrough comes from doing something different. So instead of the five, I went to 35. That sucks. 35 reach out today suck. I'm here to tell you straight to your face, it sucks. But it will change your business. Straight up. So do I want to have a crappy, sucky 35 reach outs for the next year or two? So then I can like lay on the beach and give you guys a five, four, three, two, one and tell you it's magical. Hell yeah, that's what I want. So I'm in the suck and I'm okay with that, but I had to do that. So that's one thing I did differently. But then if I'm really honest, there's a lot of stuff I'm not doing differently. Well, guess what? My business is not going to be different. Um, so we're going to talk about the breakthroughs and how to get there. Um, the, the other quote that I really, really liked, it says to operate like a CEO of your business and your life, you must be intentional with how you spend and value your, the asset of time. And I think that's something I'm maybe going to have to like write on my wall or remind myself. I'll be the first one to tell somebody your time is so important, but then I'm running in circles trying to help people when I actually have stuff I need to do. It's the, it's the whole airplane thing. I hate using it because it's so cliche, but you know, when the mask drops, <laughs> heaven forbid, they've never fallen out of that ceiling. But if it happens, I know I'm supposed to put mine on first before I talk to my neighbors. <laughs> and that's gonna be hard for me because I'm gonna wanna help all my neighbors. But you know, if I pass out, I can't help. So it kind of goes back to that. So let's, we're gonna, I'm gonna break this down. They have what they call, and you can take notes at this point if you want, or you can just come back and listen. They have what they call strategic blocks, which I'm telling you the second I read it, same thing, I did not wanna highlight it. But anyway, strategic blocks, buffer blocks, and then breakout blocks. So a lot of us are used to time blocking where we've done morning, afternoon, and evening, or we've done, I don't know how you all have done it. Like I, I always did kind of like, I would take my time and break it out amongst jobs. So I'd be like, okay, fitness for you, Ben Boss, Lavelle, fitness for you, Lavelle. Like I would have chunks during the day. Say that again, strategic blocks, and I'm gonna dive into each of these blocks, strategic blocks, Buffer, B-U-F-F-E-R, buffer blocks, breakout blocks. Now here's the funny thing, since I'm making fun of myself and being very honest tonight. I want to say it was probably five years ago. Yeah, five years ago. That I remember Susan Kaufman, her name used to be Susan Miller. That's how long ago this was. Susan Kaufman and I were talking and she said to me, and I quote, because I said something to her about like, how do you, like, how do you answer all your messages? She said, my ringer is, or my, my notifications are not on. My ringer is on. If someone truly needs me, they will call me. And I have done that some, like my, my notifications aren't on, my ringer is, but my screen is very rarely black. I'm always checking it. Oh, who might need me? Oh, who's, oh, did somebody write me back? Oh, oh, ask Tom. It's annoying. Like, it's bad. So even though I know that, like doing it is a whole other thing. So, so this will be a challenge for me. So I don't know. I may need therapy throughout this whole thing. And I'm just sharing it with you guys so we can do it together. All right. So your strategic blocks. Are you ready for this? Now, remember, this is the CEO of your business and life. So before you panic on me, because I panicked the second I read it, Hear me out. A strategic block is a three hour block of time. Not three one hours. It is one solid three hour block of time that you dedicate to your life, basically, once a week. So legit, I panicked. I was like, three hours? I can't sit still for three hours. I can't stay focused on something for three hours. Like all of a sudden my, I don't know, like if I panicked on the inside, but then when I broke it down, it makes more sense. Um, so here's the other kicker about these three, this three hour block. It has to be free of interruptions. Oh my God. <laughs> like I'm going to have to leave my house <laughs> because even if no one is here and let's say the dogs are asleep, I will look over and be like, oh, I should probably dust that shelf. 
And while I'm up, I'm going to put in a load of laundry. Like, do you guys do this weird stuff when you should be focused? So I may have to, I don't know. I can't go to a park because I'll find a squirrel. I'll have to find a place I can really focus. Um, so what do you, so you're going to schedule your strategic block early in the week for two reasons. Number one, you want it early because there's a lot of planning that's going to happen in this strategic block. You also want it early in the week because let's say that you have your strategic block scheduled Monday from noon to three and the school calls and your kid is sick. Now you still have the rest of the week that you could reschedule this, but it's a non-negotiable. You've got to do this. And this is so hard for me. <laughs> like, I don't, can you tell I physically don't even like talking about this? Like I can't imagine sitting still for three hours to, to do strategy for my life and my business. However, let's talk about some things that you would do. Like it's, this is your strategic time. So let me give you some examples that they had. Um, you might review your prog progress of your business or whatever your goal is that you're working on. You would identify any breakdowns in the, the, the week prior, the schedule prior. You would work on key plan tactics. So basically when we boil that down, like I'm going to boil it down to a thriver or to like an entrepreneur. So when I think of a strategic block, if, if I legitimately sat down for three hours, I could get so much done and be so much more productive for the rest of the week, which this is the only reason I'm sharing this with you because I still physically don't like talking about sitting still for three hours, but I could do my social media calendar because here's where I'm talking about baby steps. I shared this with you guys, right? I've shared this whole like having an idea a theme for the day. This was like the baby step that is pushing me into this because here's the trick. So today is Monday. Well, that's a bad example because it was Labor Day, but let's just pretend it was a regular Monday. I got up this morning and I knew that I needed to do a makeover Monday for my bin boss. I needed to do a mindset or move it Monday for, for me for Thrive or um, whichever one I didn't do, the other one would be for the Vibin and Thrive and team or customer page, right? So I know that's what I need to do that day. Okay, well now here's the rub. I know I need to do it, but what the hell am I gonna write about? Now I have to figure it out. It's Monday, these things have to be done today. So now I have to go through my phone, I have to find the before and after of the nasty garbage can that we cleaned last week. I have to make the collage, I have to put the logo in it, I have to come up with the words for the post, I have to make the post, I have to schedule the post. Now I gotta go over to my Thrive Business or to the Vibin and Thriving page and I've gotta make a, a picture or a quote or something do you see what I'm saying? Like, I know where I want to go on a Monday, but I still have all that work to do on a Monday. So let's pretend it was a Monday that we woke up to this promo. I can't focus on that yet because I have to get these posts done. Whereas if I had planned the damn things, figured it out, already done the pictures, already done the words and saved it in the notes section on my phone, Monday morning, I could just click go. So I totally know that this would, will, not would, this will change my productivity. It's just a matter of wrapping my mind around it. Like to me, this was my social media calendar, but it's not really my need to plan out my, I actually need to sit and plan them out. If I were to sit down and plan all of the posts, and I know this might seem, I mean, you guys know, because so you're thrivers, so you're doing at least one to three posts a day. So I've got that. And then I've got the same situation with our other businesses. I need to sit down and do those posts. So you might be thinking, Tammy, it's not that hard to do three posts a day. Well, when you do that many posts for different businesses and you have different hashtags and you got different pictures, it gets a little crazy. So a strategic block would change my life, right? Like we, I can see it, you can see it, we can all see it. <laughs> so a social media calendar would be huge. I could do my, I could actually plan out my calendar for the week. So instead of just reacting to, here's my fitness for you client. So, and I want you guys to try to put this in terms that you understand. So um, maybe you work from eight, or maybe you work from seven to three, maybe you work from nine to five, whatever it is. Like if you were to already look at the beginning of the week, here's these chunks of time that I'm dedicated. So like Sonia, here's the chunk of time I'm dedicated to the law firm. Here's the chunks of time I'm in my car driving. Here's the chunk of time I, I save for Charlie at night. Here's the, ch like if you have those chunks and you look at the whole week early on and you get all of those already committed chunks in there, then you can start to identify the open times when, and we'll get to that. But so calendar planning, I could be doing, I could sit down every Monday for three hours and I could figure out the incentives for the entire month 
for the team. I'd be so much better versus, because here, here's how I operate, you guys. I wake up and I'm like, oh, I need a team promo. Wonder what I should do. And I scroll back through old promos, or I text some of you and say, what would be a good promo? And then fly by the seat of my pants, I throw it out. It's got misspelled words. I forgot some details. So it costs me more time in the end versus working on it in this chunk. Some of you are like probably super organized and you're like, duh, I do this every week. I don't know what she's worried about, but this is so not for me. And not, not, it is for me, it's not what I'm used to. Um, another perfect example, planning out your team Zooms. There's a lot of leaders on here. And I know you wanna do team huddles and I know you wanna do team Zooms. And you're probably a lot like me. And there's so many on you, there's so many of you right now that can be like, oh yeah, there are days where Monday at 4.30, I'm texting going, what should our team Zoom be about? What should I talk about tonight? Anybody, anybody? And you've probably been on some of those Zooms because they're not this organized and I'm not this fired up because I'm a little bit lost because I don't, because it wasn't until like 6.55 when I walked out of fitness for you that I figured out what I was talking about on the way home. Whereas again, if I spent that time early in the week, I could have that done. So I want you to think about things that you're doing during the week that you're like that that you're doing well so like let's go back so my social media calendar i'm proud of i feel like i'm doing well but i know it's a time suck that i could be doing better so what are some things and let's just start filling up the chat what are some things that you're doing that you do well but you know you could do better if you actually set and plan them out um and then so just even in that strict so remember this is for your business and your life so in that three hour time chunk I could also go over things like my budget. Maybe we're saving for something big. I could check my accounts. Where are we at on that? Um, I could even then, while I'm so if I'm so if in my big strategic planning time, I'm planning out my calendar and I've now identified the open time chunks, that's when I can start writing in, okay, I see on Tuesdays at eight to ten, I don't have any clients. I could be doing those, I could do reach outs. I see on Thursday from noon to one, I don't have any clients. I could type in, I could write in reach outs. Cause here's the thing, every day I wake up and I'm like, I'm gonna do my 35 reach outs. But when, when Tammy, cause first thing you gotta do are these posts so that you know your theme, but you don't know what you're saying. Then you gotta get dressed to go to work. Then you gotta train the people. Then you gotta come home. You gotta change, you go do the bin boss. And then, adif, 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 right? So if I say, and so then I kind of panic for the, <laughs> This has truly turned into a therapy session. I just want to thank all of you. Um, like I kind of panicked during the day because I'm like, oh, I saw I got to do my reach outs. When am I going to do those? Whereas if I would just look in the morning and be like, oh, I know that this is the time I'm doing them. I could just chill out, right? I could just chill out and do them when I'm supposed to. Okay, chat, uh, chat is happening. I keep saying I'll plan these out, but it takes so much time. That would be awesome. You're so going to hate my trash can the next time. <laughs> I wish personal pages would let you schedule posts like, yeah, I do also. So, um, so business pages and group pages, it's a, it's a huge bonus. You can schedule, like you can, I can make the, the post right now and tell it when to post and what time. So for personal posts, I just keep, and this is probably not the best, but this is what I do right now. I have a little reminder on my phone that goes off to make sure that I've made a post. Um, it doesn't tell me what to post though. That's when I go back to this. So I have work to do, but, um, the more you can plan that out, the better you're going to be. Um, whereas if I had a note section, where, whereas if we had a note section with all our, pro do we have a note section with all the promos we've ever done? Is that what you're asking me? Oh, she's frozen. I think that'll be, well, that'll be said. Yeah, I do. I owe you more than $75. Uh, we have saved you copay for real. <laughs> you can save a draft to your personal page. Oh yeah, that it's so, but Laura, how, can you do more than one draft? Okay, all right, thank you. So what Laura is saying, I think we talked about this once before, like let's say, let's back to my scenario, let's say it's Monday morning and I'm like, oh, it has to be a moving Monday and I start typing it and I have it ready, but I've just made a couple other posts and I don't want to post it yet. I can just back out of it and it'll say, do you want to save as a draft? And I can say yes. And then later on, as long as I've got that reminder on my phone, I can go back in and post my draft. Um, it'd be awesome if you could put, have like a lot more. How do you get back to the drafts? You know, now Natasha, Laura may have a better answer for you. What I do when it says that I have a draft on my phone at the top in my little drop down menu, it'll say where I have a draft and I click it. So I just have to be really careful and not click it all day while I'm trying to avoid it. But Laura may have a better idea. 
Um, and that like an actual technique. I don't have a technique. Can you hear uh, me? What did you say? Can you hear me? Yeah. So what I, this is how I do it. I literally, so I've already saved my draft and then I go back to my Facebook page and I like click on the empty spot, you know, like I'm going to make a post and it just appears. Oh, it just appears. That, might, that might be an iPhone thing. Oh, maybe. I mean, maybe, I don't know. I'll try that next time on my phone too. I don't know. Okay. Um, okay. So you got, you have, I got to talk fast. You are, uh, you have the idea of the strategic block, right? So it's a big chunk of time. But, in it, but it's well used and it will save you so much time during the week because you spent it up front preparing. Now the next one is what they call buffer blocks. These are 30 to 60 minutes in length and they're scheduled once or twice a day, generally at the same time. So for example, those of you that work outside of the home, perhaps your lunch break is 11.30 to 12.30 every day. So you might have on your calendar 11.30 to 12 lunch 12 to 1230, your buffer block. So in a buffer block, you check email, messenger, um, you look at your social media posts that you made earlier in the day to see what the comments are. Um, that might actually be like for me every Monday night at 730, this is a buffer block. This is an actual administrative duty of having the team Zoom. So it's 30 minutes, it's a little longer tonight, sorry. Um, and then, so that's business wise and then home wise likewise it could be like okay every friday at 2 30 i pay my bills um but so the idea behind a buffer block is that you take all those little administrative type duties that love to pop up during your day to distract you and you only look at in there so this is the time when i was saying that susan would not answer my text message she wouldn't answer my messenger message because she's saving it for that time block when she has time to deal with it. If I truly honestly had an emergency, I needed to call her, right? So it's like you're, you know, you, some of you, we all have probably have friends like that, like where they text you all day long and you know, like I'll just check it at lunch. <laughs> That's kind of how you have to treat that too. So instead of me being in the middle of trying to, so literally every morning I'm trying to make the Facebook post and then the, the Facebook notification pops up that so-and-so commented on my picture in Dream Team and I check that and instead of just getting the damn post done, right? So if you start to put it in that buffer block, then that, buff, that helps buffer your day from being so distracted. And here's my favorite of all the blocks. Are you ready for this one? Oh, we've earned it. It's called a breakout block. They are also three hours in length. And here's the humor. I didn't blink twice about this three hours. Are you ready? They are like a mini vacation. It is a chance for you to recharge and refresh. Uh, let's see. It is, they are scheduled with your normal work week. They get you out of the office to do something you enjoy. The only rule is that you don't do or discuss work. You may leave at noon on Thursday and go golf. You may take your spouse for a long lunch. You may even go see a movie. It's totally up to you. Um, one word of caution though, they say, where did it go? One word of caution, get to the other aspects of your work week first. Put everything else in your work week first. Um, no one has ever been known to make it to the next level just by scheduling their breakout blocks. But again, if you're being this precise with your time, if you're spending three hours early in the week to be so prepared to actually plan and strategize and be in control of your time, you deserve that two hour lunch with your girlfriend followed by a walk in the park. Right? Like you deserve that time to refresh and recharge and to put your phone away. And you can put your phone away because you have your buffer block plan. You already know you're going to check it later in the day. So, oh, it's, I feel like calling without texting is like showing up without letting someone know you're coming. <laughs> oh my God. Here's my thing with the phone. When my phone rings, I'm literally like, oh, what? who is calling me? And like, why would they call me? It's so weird when I hear my phone ring. But that's also an indicator to me that somebody actually needs to talk to me like right now. When my phone, it's like, like my phone has been dinging and vibrating this whole Zoom, but you haven't heard it because my ringer is off, like off. If that thing was on during the day, oh my Lord, I would need even more therapy than what we've had tonight. So no, I, I know that we struggle, but here's the thing when it's been, I will tell you, I think it's important to be respectful of like, and this is me, I was born in the seventies. This is what we did. You didn't call anybody before 9 a.m. and you didn't call anybody after 9 p.m. I don't know if the rest of you were raised like that. But we were not allowed to call anybody or like before or after. 
And so that's just kind of in my blood. Like I feel like after 9 p.m., it really, like to me, if my phone rings after 9 p.m., somebody's in a ditch, okay? Like that's, you're calling me because something really bad has happened. We just, yeah, I just, we barely call people. Edie, we couldn't text back in the day. Exactly. Yeah. Back in the day, we just had to call people. Um, so there, I know there's a big shift in that, but that's just to, it's like, if you're like tonight, if you're working on this promo and something's not going right or someone order, someone's order's not going in right, it's Monday night on a holiday. You might send a Facebook messenger, but you guys, there's probably 15 sitting there in for me right now, just during the zoom. So I'm not going to go, I'm not going to know it's an emergency, but if I see that, and here's the thing, maybe I don't answer, but I saw you called and I will call you back, right? Versus checking. So just remember, but and remember, emergency. This is why we have group chats, right? Like between me and your other upline, somebody's probably going to have that answer. But I just think it's important for you guys to know that when your phone dings, you don't have to drop what you're doing. If you're in the middle of, reading a book about self-development and you're really working on yourself or if you're having dinner with your family you don't have to bing and jump up and i'm talking to myself because the phone done right so keep that in mind like the more control you take over your time the better an emergency on my part isn't exactly right emergencies can be you know iffy um but I get it, like, especially when you're new and you're trying to place an order and it's not working out and you're like, oh my gosh, it ends in three hours. What do I do? I get that. But again, you should have a group chat with a couple other people in it. So somebody somewhere is probably going to see that message. And again, if they don't pick up the phone and call and like, let's say you're having an emergency and I'm having dinner with Tom, I'm going to be like, oh, so-and-so is calling. As soon as I get done eating, I'm going to call them right back versus me going, oh, wow, I got 15 messengers to check. <laughs> I'll do that in a minute. <laughs> Right. So just keep that in mind that we do all want to help. Like I know everyone on here wants to help. That's the whole reason we're having this conversation, but you got to help yourself first. So I know for a fact, I'm going to try try. No, I know for a fact, I'm doing my strategic block tomorrow. <sighs> Probably need you guys to check on me. Um, Sandra, we end up training people. Yes, exactly. You're right. And I've trained you all that way. It's exactly, it's why my dogs whine. The second they whine, I'm like, what do you need? Do you want to go outside? Do you want food? What's going on? Because I'd rather do that than hear them whine. But it, you're right. If, if you answer every single time that thing bangs, you're going to train people to not think for themselves, not look for the, there's a lot of times where when I go to finally check the group messengers, someone's like, "Never mind, found it in the cloud. Never mind, read it on the promo. Never mind, she called me back. Like, there's a lot of times stuff will sort itself out, whereas I used to just respond to all of that. And I still respond to a lot of it, so I'm, I'm still working on myself. Um, anyway, I hope this was helpful. Was this helpful? Are you guys up for a strategic walk? I mean, I literally, oh God, I wanna do it, but I, I literally feel ill thinking about it. Like, I feel it's right here, right here. It's, it's rough. Three hours is a long time. But I know, like, I know that, that whole social media that every single morning starting my morning off not knowing what to post like that's a crappy way to start your day i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it tomorrow i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you guys about it <laughs> i might have to have a cocktail to then tell you all about it but i'm gonna do it and tell you about it tomorrow um i don't know i have adhd sitting still for three hours is freaking me out but anyway we can't wait we'll have a happy hour yes no copay please by the way, I might need you tonight about what we, yes, exactly. I already have you written down for the night, Edie, because I got to put my order in and we're going to work on yours. Um, okay, so we're down to a minute. Does anybody have questions? Anything else they want to throw in? You're also great to hang out here with me and listen to this. Again, if you are interested, I did the audio book and then I got the workbook. Um, if you get the audio book, there's a whole PDF that you can download also. Um, oh, just order Natasha Good. I knew you would like this because you, you last week you even like we were talking the same language. And I don't know if you guys took the time to do it or not. But we talked about like your high impact activities and doing the um, umbrella or the bubbles. I got mine done, and I'm telling you, it makes a difference. Like I'll be unstoppable when I mix my bubbles with my strategic block. I'm sweating, but I'll be unstoppable because when I was coming up with some of these things, I really started getting specific like really specific. And I was like, oh, you know what? That is something I should do that I don't do. Oh, duh. And now it's in black and white. 
bubbles. Was, I think that was last week where we talked about getting specific. So that'll, I think it's called specific in September or something like that. Um, anyway, love you all. Bye. It's going to cut us off. Bye.